Hey y'all, welcome to Summertime Tarot. My name is Summer and this is a reading, a general reading for the sign of Pisces for April 2020. So we're just going to take a look at, you know, what you can expect for the month, you know, what energies coming in. So let's go ahead and get started. The song that I am hearing is, um, I think it's Red Lipstick by Trey Songs. I have no idea why, but <laughs> I thought I'd just put that out there. Okay. So we have here truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. Okay. Hmm. This making me, okay. Kind of makes sense with the red lipstick, almost like um, wearing your truth so to speak not needing to say much because you're you're presenting your truth with your quote unquote red lipstick hmm okay okay let's see what else comes out So we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. All right. Okay, and now I'm hearing the song um, from, what's it called? The Sound of Music. I don't know what it's called, but it's like, you're 16 going on 17, maybe you need to think. <laughs> I can't sing, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but with that, I'm really getting like a need to, for the month. It's almost like you're quiet or kind of keeping your, was it tongue in cheek in order to really, because I feel like you, you know what you want, but you may be in a space where you're kind of maybe getting ahead of yourself. Like, oh, 
almost in a, I don't want to say arrogant, but in an arrogant manner. Almost like, I know what I'm doing. I don't need any help from anyone. Right? And almost kind of in a space where you may almost think you have everything planned out, but I feel like I need to really be open to um, criticism is the word that's coming to mind. And I feel like you may not be speaking for fear of Um, Being criticized for fear of like people not understanding where you come from or understanding what it is you're trying to do. And it's really with this discipline card, really, I just get a feeling, a need to be honest with yourself about where your mind is, where your heart is, and if they're on the same accord. Are you doing everything that you should be doing? Are you putting your focus and your attention in the right space? Let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. What's going on here? I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, with this Ten of Wands. I keep I just keep hearing closed mouths don't get fed. Hmm. I almost feel like with this ten of wands the word reparations just came through. I don't know why. But almost like okay. I think I understand. Almost like not wanting to say something because you feel like it's not your job to tell people what they should already know. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like, so kind of keeping things to yourself because it's like, you should already know this almost is kind of what I'm picking up with the Ten of Wands. Hmm. And so we have here... The Daughter of Baskets, Six of Sticks, and the Four of Sticks. With the Six of Sticks, I'm really feeling like, yeah, like you're you're focused on almost like appearances. Almost like you want to appear like you have it all together. But 
but I get the feeling that you feel like you don't know what you're doing, but you don't want it to appear that way. Or even like with this four with this four of wands, like almost like you want to keep things kind of smooth, kind of calm with people in your life so that you're holding back how you're really feeling in order to kind of keep things calm so you don't have to deal with things the 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 stability of things kind of shifting in a way that you're not prepared for that's kind of what i'm getting with that and then we have here the emperor reversed the nine of swords reversed with the star <laughs> i'm hearing the song just gotta make it by trey songs it's like it's like a feeling of just needing to kind of keep calm, keep quiet until things kind of, I don't want to say magically work out, but that's kind of almost how, how it's making me feel. Like almost being in a space where it's like everything, it kind of feels like it's going all kind of topsy-turvy, but you're not like voicing that. because it's like you want things to kind of shift but I feel like I need to really in order for that to happen there's a need for you to really kind of I feel like kind of let go of control over the things that you know are out of your control but also like a need to kind of let things be as they are. Make peace with, you know, the things that haven't changed in the way that you wanted them to. And then, you know, if there is something that you can change, if there is with this Ten of Wands, you know, something that you need to really like get off your chest or let go of. energetically that's kind of been boxing you up or kind of keeping you shut off or closed off or um, just fo I feel like really focused on the wrong things really needing to kind of let that go Yeah, I really just feel like it's something that you need to get off of your chest. And with the Nine of Swords here in reverse in the center, it's almost like you've kind of been raging on the inside. And I feel like if you if you don't let go of that these kind of fears or anxieties in a um, healthy manner, it's gonna it's gonna kind of take a turn. Yeah, because with this, I kind of feel like you're focusing all of your attention on like the outside, what's going on outside of you so that you don't have to kind of deal with what's going on within you. But there's a need for you to really get things situated on the inside in order to kind of release this burden with the Ten of Wands. Sorry. And then with the, the Six of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Coins, yeah. There's a need to really um, get balanced. 
both internally and externally. I kind of see this as, you know, um, the two worlds kind of meeting each other halfway. So like in order for things to kind of get better on the outside when it comes to like your relationships with others and what's going on, be it, you know, in your family or what have you, there needs to you, there needs to be kind of some smooth sailing, some kind of healing, some kind of letting things go on the inside, right? Um, not trying to kind of control so much, not focusing so much on the things that aren't, you know, kind of working out or making you feel the way that you would hope them to, but also a need to kind of voice, you know, where you're coming from, how you're feeling, and not expecting things to just automatically change without you kind of putting in some work to make it change. That's kind of what I'm picking up on. Yeah, because with this Ten of Sticks, I just feel like you may just be holding on to stuff, not kind of, and it may actually be like a um, learned habit of kind of holding things back but it's like a need to kind of shift that and come out of that energy if you want things to change. Okay. But let's see. Let's do a little love reading for you to see what you can expect when it comes to romantic love for the month. So we have Eight of Wands, okay, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Wands with the King of Cups. So with the Eight of Wands being with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I really get a feeling like first thing that's coming to my mind is movement, but in like the wrong direction almost like you want things are moving quickly things are moving fast but there's something that has not been addressed that's kind of still kind of um lurking kind of going on that you almost like with um the last the other reading that we did it's almost like you almost kind of want things to move quickly you want things to kind of work out in a particular way but with the wheel of fortune in reverse it's almost of energy of not not finishing things up before moving into this kind of new arena so there's really a need to kind of let 
with this wheel of fortune let whatever um isn't working go so that you can move into something that is actually working for you with the two of cups here it's like um if you're in a relationship i really get this as really needing to um let go of having so much control over the relationship having so much control over you know what gets done who does what the direction um of where things are going and i feel like there's almost this feeling where you may have been kind of dictating or trying to control where things are heading in this relationship and because with this king of cups here there's a lot of love here there's a lot of desire there's a lot of passion but i feel like things may be moving too quickly in a sense um where you guys may not be on the same page you guys may not actually um want the same things and there's a need to really um be honest and open about this before moving forward so that you guys can be on the same page so that um everybody's desires and needs are being met there's a need for you to be open about you know how you're feeling um, things that you feel aren't working out the way that you want them to otherwise you know things are just going to continue going as they are and I get the sense that you know you're probably not happy with that so there's a need for you to be honest about that if you're single I kind of see this as um, you really want you really want a relationship but I feel like with the wheel of fortune here it's almost like you're kind of backing away from um, moving in that direction but there's a need for you to kind of change your patterns, change your habits when it comes to um, love and relationships. If, you know, you do want this two of cups, there's a need for you to really um, be open and honest about how you're feeling with yourself, first of all, so that you can do the same with others. Um, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, with this two of cups being here, right dead in the center, it's like for the month of April, really getting in tuned. So if you're in a relationship, really getting in tune with your partner. Um, if you're single or dating, really um, getting in tune with yourself, with what you want, with how you're feeling, um, loving on yourself, um, moving in the direction, moving towards things that make you feel good, basically, right? no longer kind of holding on to things that aren't working that aren't you know working out the way that you want them to it's basically kind of what i'm, what I'm trying to say <laughs> but let's go ahead and pull some advice for you for the month let's see So we have here compassion for all it reads compassion is the beating heart of all spiritual practices the peace you seek comes from the peace you create extend your compassion to all beings today including yourself everyone benefits when you are kind may all beings be happy and free okay and then we have here give each other space Sometimes it's hard to work out our differences when we don't have enough space. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, Narona is messing people up. Like, 
they need their space but um sorry <laughs> Okay, sometimes it's hard to work out our differences when we don't have enough space. So take a step back to create room for authentic conversation. Perhaps you need to consult with a therapist to guide you through the emotional thicket, or maybe you just need some new tools for healthy communication. Whatever it is, don't try to fix it right now. Give each other space. Okay, and then find your tribe. Your spiritual tribe is out there, and once you find your tribe members, rejoice together, motivate each other, support each other, and stick together. Share your accomplishments, hopes, desires, and heartbreak. Praise each other and offer the kindest, tough love when needed. Their strength in numbers, you're never alone. Okay. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, what crystals would be beneficial for you this month? So we have mm, Chia Stolite, um, Past Loved Ones, Root Chakra. Then we have Amethyst, Intuition, Third Eye Chakra, and Pipestone, or AKA Catlinite, Ancestors, Root Chakra. So yeah, so you have here two, two cards for your Root Chakra and... Um, as well as ancestors and past loved ones. So really, I see this really um, working on connecting to the people closest to you. But I also get with um, compassion and find your tribe here, like really being open to trying new things, um, learning to do things new ways, um, connecting with people in a, in a different way than what you're used to. So really, um, with these root chakra crystals, I really get kind of like getting comfortable and grounded within yourself so that you can open and expand, you know, your mind when it comes to how people act, what they think, what they do. And, almost like not getting so caught up in reacting so much but kind of seeing things from a new perspective being able to kind of um connect with people in a different way basically right so let's see what uh self-care activities would be beneficial for you for this month So we have here beauty so really you know beauty magic really getting dolled up so that you feel good about yourself right connecting with yourself in a new way um right boosting confidence then we have sensuality so really like getting connected with your body uh loving on yourself um uh, when I see this, I always want to say, you know, get dressed up and, you know, some cute little lingerie or whatever that you may feel uncomfortable about, you know, wearing around other people, but just, you know, wearing it for yourself so that you, you know, feel confident and beautiful or handsome. Then we have a uh, bath. So yeah, getting back to the water element, you know, connecting with your emotions, just spending time, you know, alone with yourself, connecting with your body, connecting with your heart, and clearing out any old kind of 
gunk that may be still holding on to you then we have here movie so yeah have a movie night it'll be fun eat some popcorn laugh a little bit right tell some jokes but that's all i have for you pisces i hope this reading helped you in some way let me know down in the comments how it resonated for you if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel i really appreciate you and i hope to see you soon